Hi, <clears throat> excuse me, this is Barton with the Snowflake Project. Uh, today I want to start a series of videos about doing continuous integration with BitRise. And this document is going to provide the steps that you can take your app that was cloned or downloaded from Snowflake and build both your iOS and your Android application. But before we get started, I want to establish what will be addressed and more importantly, what isn't. So some assumptions. Uh, Snowflake is a starter app, so the tutorials are going to be very basic, and I want to keep it as being basic. There's a bazillion ways of doing this. I'll show you one. There's a number of CI sites. I chose BitRise. Why did I choose BitRise? Well, it's a new player on the, on the field, but I like also their, their pricing, that I can get 200 builds a month, one concurrent build, 10 minutes, plenty of time for zero, and for as long as you want, free for as long as you want. So I like that. So the goal here is to use BitRise, get a build done on BitRise. I'm not interested in doing it locally. I'm not going to address doing BitRise locally, but you can do it on the cloud. And the only goal here is to get that build run and to get two emails. One email for the APK for the uh, Android, and another email for the IPA for the iOS. So that's the goal here is to get the build done and get your app so where you can install it onto your device. And at the end you will still be able to run your applications locally with the simulators. So what are the things that are going to be addressed? Well I'm going to take a look at BitRise. We'll walk through a little bit of the screens, kind of what's there, what are workflows, why do we have two workflows instead of one, one for the iOS, one for the Android. Then we'll focus in on the iOS which was really the most complex and if you've done any iOS development, which I have never done until now, um, it's man, it's, it's crazy. So anyway, um, we'll go through how, how we configured Xcode, what, what I did, how I set things up. Um, we'll look at the uh, Apple Development Center with your certificates, your uh, provisioning, and all those things that you have to do there. We'll look at certifications, keychains, P12s, how those tie in to BitRise and how they're used within the build to assign your IPA. Um, we'll look at what we have to set up inside of uh, BitRise to get the environment variables or the variables used by the application to do the build. Um, you don't want those to be in your scripts. You want those to be private and protected, and we'll sh I'll show you how to do that. We'll look at how um, the um, configuration that describes the steps involved with BitRise, those are, are text files, and those are in the source code of, of Snowflake, and we'll look at importing those and putting them into BitRise to give us a, a real quick way to get up and running. And then we'll run the build and see the iOS uh, IPA get built. And then the Android, I mean, gee, it's not that hard. Um, but we'll look at what changes I made in the build griddle, gradle. Uh, we'll look at the secret in, in environment variables that are set up. We'll import the YAML and then we'll run the build. So some things that aren't addressed. We're not going to look at how to submit these app, this app to the store. Maybe that's someday in the future, but right now that's, that's way more than I want to achieve right now. Right now, the focus is getting it built and installable on your phone. Um, I'm not going to talk about other CIs. I know there's a lot out there. I like BitRise. They've been very responsive. They are, are on Slack, and they, I've been getting all the help I could possibly ask for. Um, I'm not going to talk about other real complex setups for iOS or Android. I'm not an expert in either one of those. Some of this I'm learning as I go. Uh, I'm not going to get into how to debug these things when they're on your, your device. Um, that's yet maybe something down the road. Uh, I'm not looking at any new shiny thing. If there's new tools, new techniques, I, I don't know about them. I just know what I've done right now, and I want to document it and get it there available into your hands so that you have a, a platform to grow off of and start doing these shiny new things. Um, so again, no local builds with BitRise. I'm not going to get into Docker, installing Docker, and getting a, a duplicate environment. Um, I did all of my stuff by doing the work I needed to do on the source code of Snowflake and then doing my configurations in BitRise and running the builds there. And that was a very cheap, efficient way to, to do what I needed to do. And so that, that's all I'm going to stick with. Um, Fastlane is something that we're not going to do locally. We're only doing it on the cloud. 
it is possible to do locally that's another exercise for another date by somebody or maybe me um, so we're not going to get into all the features of fast lane um, enough said so um, that's this is the introductory video um, stay tuned I'll have the next video uh, we'll get more into this area of looking at what is bit rise and um, we'll start from there thank you